Okay, I have to confess, I did something that I'm not super proud of or I feel a little bit guilty for. I went out and ordered some dresses online, retail therapy. Oh yes, my friends, it does work sometimes. Um, even though the guilt comes from, this is probably not the best time to be spending a lot of money, especially with the whole economic situation and what's going on in the world right now. Um, but I, you know, sometimes you gotta do the things that inspire you and that you know that will get you some energy. So for me, pretty clothes, it just, I've been pretty, yeah, I've been pretty sad lately. Um, I moved back in with my parents at the age of 32, left my life in London, my kind of dream life that I've been working for really hard. And I kind of feel like I'm back to square one in some sense. So you know what? I'm gonna treat myself a pretty dress. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> the last few weeks uh, have been very difficult for me to just get my head in a place where I could think clearly and there's been a lot of inner noise that I've just... It's been really difficult to get like new creative ideas and get excited about making stuff. Um, and I think in those times it's okay to repeat yourself to sometimes switch on the autopilot a little bit and just make something. Because starting, my friends, Sometimes that is so difficult to just get going, but when you just make something, then that uh, satisfaction of finishing something will then fuel and give you energy to just keep going. And then maybe the next idea will be a little bit better if that first thing that you made wasn't so great. Um, and also lately I've been reflecting a lot and thinking a lot about just my life and who I want to be and what kind of values I have. Um, and so you could also use all that emotional whirlwind stuff um, as energy and to fuel you in your creative stuff. Mm. Okay, it started to rain again. It's really dark in here. I hope you see me. <laughs> Don't be too precious about the stuff you make. It's so easy to get caught up in being perfectionist and just wanting to edit a little bit more, tweak it a bit more, just make it a tiny little bit better. Um, but I've found that at least what works for me is when I just keep going, I make stuff and I don't allow myself to overthink and overanalyze it in a sense, because then I think that kind of inner child and the curiosity of just making stuff and not being too self-critical is really when that thrives. So don't be too precious about it. Just make a bunch of stuff, even if you feel like it's ridiculous, a silly idea, take the silly ideas seriously, because it all comes down to the execution and how you make it and how your devotion and effort that you put in. Spend time in your own head. I think it's really important when you are creative that you have time alone and just spending time in your own head, in your own imagination. There's so much noise that wants to distract us, but having that time or uh, making that time for reflection and just spending time with your own thoughts and really trying to listen to your inner voices or what your heart is telling you or what it is that you're interested in. Oh my God, it's raining so much right now. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's uh, really loud. Oh my god, it actually started to hail. All right, I guess I won't be using my dresses for a while then yet. Uh, yeah, <laughs> speaking of uh, noises and things that distract you, uh, I don't have the <laughs> best uh, attention span, but then when I put my mind into something, I do feel like uh, I can be pretty consistent and be pretty persistent with it. Um, but I think it's all about listening to your own the whisper. Sometimes you have to really listen hard and carefully to find what it is that you're actually inspired by and that you don't get distracted in all kinds of directions. Try out a different creative medium. So this video is sponsored by Skillshare and I'm so excited about this sponsorship because Skillshare is such a great tool if you want to learn something else, a different creative skill and try uh, a class. So I'm at the moment trying this one by Marie Andrew called Creative Transformation, nine exercises to draw, write and discover your future. And I really like the way she approaches her work and it's also really inspiring to see another artist um, just how she talks about her work and the exercises she's using uh, to create create her art basically um, and it's a lot about drawing and writing and using your own memories and your own life uh, as inspiration and there was this one exercise that I really loved um, which was about drawing out and unlocking thoughts and maybe emotions that you have that you don't uh, even notice um, so I made this my London heart just because, yeah, going through all kinds of nostalgia and melancholy and missing London and yeah, I don't know, I just feel like I need to process that a little bit still. So 
this drawing exercise I really really found it helpful to that and then also then just the heart that gave me some ideas for some photos and using that theme um, so even though I wasn't consciously looking for any creative ideas to directly take into my photos just making or taking this class with her uh, got all kinds of other ideas and just like maybe a different way to approach uh, things that I would normally do. So if you'd like to try out Skillshare, uh, the thousand first subscribers that use this link below will get two months of premium memberships for free. Uh, and I really recommend trying it out. And especially now in these times, uh, there's, yeah, a lot of time to uh, <laughs> stay indoors and try out new stuff. So uh, do use that and do click the link below. Okay, I have to tell you about this chair. This is the same chair that I sat in when I was 10 years old and I had this in um, the room next door, which was my room at the time. And I would sit every day after school and I would make this miniature dollhouse furniture. So I have spent so many hours in this chair being creative, just being by myself, me, myself and I. <laughs> eh, very nostalgic. Another really simple thing is to just go for a walk. I think it's something magic about walking. I, I think it is because you're occupying one part of your brain because you have to be a little bit aware of your surrounding uh, and you're also just like physically you're doing something and that will allow another part of your brain to think straighter or clearer or yeah just uh, get new ideas again so often when I find that I'm stuck or I just like can't really figure it out or don't know what direction to take going for a walk or just doing something physical, like a little workout, get a little sweat on, that usually unlocks it for me. And that is always a really helpful, helpful thing to do. And also healthy, repeat yourself. Uh, I did a while back a video about some Instagram growth tips. And the last tip there was to repeat yourself because actually I found that that is the best way to build a consistent brand and just a message overall. But I do think that comes down to also just being creative and trying to find out what you're about and what you're like. It's okay to repeat yourself and actually it will never anyways be the same thing. And sometimes when you just don't feel like inspired or motivated, um, it's okay to just turn on the autopilot sometimes and repeat yourself yourself and uh, I've talked about this before as well I've in my photos if you see them I do often series and I repeat myself and I think it's okay you don't have to see this as something bad and the pressure of trying to be very original all the time actually repetition can be your best friend it's okay to have an average idea I think we often get caught up in thinking we have to have the most brilliant genius idea but actually most things are usually quite average and most things have already been done anyways and it all comes down to execution and details and how you put your own spin on it and um, this I think of some of my photo ideas if you just think of what it actually is squeezing a lemon over my head a strawberry bike or flowers go blowing in the wind like butterflies like when you say it out <laughs> it sounds so ridiculous and silly but then it comes down to the execution and the idea you have in your mind um, and really staying rigorously true to that and trying to make it work um, so I think it's okay you don't have to get so caught up in thinking you have to have like a great idea let me ask you a question is the fear of failure holding you back because I bet a lot of us are actually afraid of failure, of being ridiculous, or it not working out, either uh, in the eyes of others or just for ourselves. And that can often hold us back. But I'm gonna tell you, um, it's good to notice that and acknowledge like, oh, I do have a little bit of fear of failure. And then you can work around that. I don't think it will ever go away, to be honest. I still feel very doubtful and think some of my ideas are completely stupid. I think that's all part of it, uh, but just trying to not let that hold you back. And that is why it's so important to just start, make something. You have to just get going and start from somewhere and not overthink and overanalyze it because then you will definitely be stifled by the pressure and overwhelmed by this idea that it has to be perfect. And you probably heard this before, but I just want to put this in this list as well and in this video because I think the more we talk about it and the more we can kind of joke about it and be aware that we all have that uh, the easier it is to just like move past that and not let that hold you back uh, I know a lot of people are against imitation and copying their work or photo ideas and as you know on my channel I am pretty generous or open about the photo ideas that I have and I really want to push other people or not push but uh, encourage other people to try them out and I don't mind at all being copied or imitated obviously if it's like a 
complete copy and everything is exactly the same maybe that's not super cool if i don't get credited for it but at the same time i do think in a, that it's you know abundance uh, and it's not uh, being taken away from me in any way if somebody else uses it again of course like with the caveat if it's for commercial use or some big brand would suddenly use my idea maybe i wouldn't feel so great about it um but what i'm trying to say is that uh, I think borrowing and lending and kind of copying uh, from work that you find inspiring that is okay and then always just try to stay true to uh, what it is that you uh, can bring to it and the things that really spark your excitement and what you want to express. Um, I think that is the, the path to try to walk. Another really helpful thing is to get very granular and specific about the things that inspire you. So for me, for example, that is pretty clothes and more specifically colors and just playful styles. That always gives me so much energy and I just get more motivated to take some photos and I build up a character and a story and just think of really pretty color combinations. Um, so the more specific you can be and then take note of those things that inspire you, that's a uh, more benefit you have than when you maybe hit a creative slump and you don't feel inspired. Then you can go back to those things that you know that usually spark your uh, enthusiasm and your creativity. Um, and then, yeah, just the more of those you have and the more you take note of those, the easier it will get to just get going again. Also, what I forgot to say, share it and post it online on Instagram or YouTube or Twitter or whatever is your medium. I always find uh, when I haven't posted for a while, for example, on Instagram, a photo, I start to get really anxious about it and thinking, oh, nothing is good enough, but just share it, post it and move on, get over it. That will, I, I always find that when I've just posted it, even if it didn't do so well, who cares? Then at least you'll have that out of your system and you can move on to the next thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found some inspiration and some value in these tips. I know for one that uh, yesterday I tried to take some photos again and even though I'm maybe not super happy with the, how they turned out, just trying to make something, just get going again, um, that does give me energy. So I always try to try to identify when it really isn't worth it and I don't want to force it uh, but then those moments where I feel like mm, now maybe it's time to just try to make something even though I don't maybe have an idea ready to go and I know exactly what I'm gonna do at least then I maybe will get an idea and I'm giving myself a chance to explore all right see you next week thank you so much for watching if you'd like to see more of my stuff you can come and say hi I'm over at Kutubakika on Instagram as well take care bye Hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello.